because I'm actually getting ready to go to dinner with a friend. Um, but I think I have probably about 10 minutes to show you guys the pieces and then I'll try everything on tomorrow whenever I'm getting ready because I really don't know what I'm going to wear. So some of these items I actually used to own um, and I actually wore them or almost wore them, but I took them with me to Vegas. And when I was in Vegas, I left them in the closet, which... <laughs> I hate when that happens, so I had to buy them again because I love them so much. So I bought this little dress, and it has a cutout in the middle, which I think is so cute. Um, it's really different, and I just think that this will look really nice on. Um, as you guys know, my body has definitely fluctuated over the last um, couple months, and I'm really trying to not focus on my size or what fits or what doesn't fit and really just love where I am because... I think I told you guys um, my body has been fluctuating but a large part of it is because all summer we traveled so much and I feel like I wasn't able to or I didn't prioritize the gym in the same way because I was out of town and I think that our body goes through like different life stages and mine right now is like kind of getting back into my regular routine now that I'm not traveling as much so I got this little dress it's short so I don't really know if this is gonna be necessarily appropriate for the wedding, um, but I love how it was, how it feels on. Um, so that's why I bought it because I was like, if nothing else, I'll feel comfortable in something. I also bought this dress, which this is a new one, and I actually wanted um, another color. I didn't want this color initially, but this is the only color that they had, and then of course the next day the other color came back in stock, but it's like a velvety dress, and it's purple, which is so different for me. Um, but I thought that this would look really cute and it's strapless um, It's just very form-fitting, but there's so many flowers on it and I feel like it'll look really nice This is the pattern up close. I mean, it's just stunning. It also has these little um, I don't know like sticky things right there. So it'll hopefully stay up Like I said, I'm gonna try all this on tomorrow whenever I'm getting ready to um, Go to the wedding probably once my makeup and stuff is done then I bought this dress, which you guys have seen this dress probably a million times. I bought it, I think, three or four years ago. And I bought it, um, and I just have worn it whenever I don't know what to wear or whenever I really want to feel, like, snatched and sexy. I always wear this, and it's just a plain black dress. But the material is so thick that it really is just kind of like that. It gives like the shapewear feel um, and it also as you can see like around the waist it kind of like goes out you can see like it goes in and then out which I think is perfect because it really accentuates your waist um, and it's just the perfect dress so I had to buy it again because like I said I lost or I left that dress in the closet at in Vegas the last dress that I bought like I said I'll just try all these on tomorrow they're all from Lulu's which is where I get all my wedding guest dresses is this one and now you guys know I do not wear color like literally do not wear it but I have this dress in white and this is another dress that I left in Vegas and this is the only color they had left and I just remembered how sexy I felt in this so we're gonna give it a go so we have three option or four options really three that I really want to look between but if I just really don't feel good in any of them I will probably pick the shorter one just because I remember how I felt in that and I felt really good but I kind of want to stick with a longer one comment below which one you guys think that I should pick if I should maybe go with the classic black um, or if I should go with the purple that has like the pattern on it or if I should go with the short dress or the blue dress um, it's a I think it's a more like elegant wedding so I'm thinking maybe the 
blue or black i don't know but we're gonna try all these on tomorrow and for now i'm just gonna hang them up and then let's uh go to dinner we have a full weekend ahead of us wedding obviously is tomorrow but i have some little errands that i want to run i want to go pick up some flowers for the house um because we're low on those and just like a couple other bits and bobs and things that we're gonna do this weekend so yeah let's uh head to dinner <music> have to put um my uh merit lip tint on and i have my jewelry on so i'm getting ready to change into the four dresses that i told you guys i was going to try on i'm going to let you guys help me pick um i'm doing a poll over on instagram so if you guys aren't following me there you guys definitely should because i do polls like this a lot to get like ideas for the house like recs for books to get um all kinds of stuff you guys help me choose like I don't know so many things so follow me there if you guys aren't and follow me on tiktok because i do stuff there like that too but yeah i want to show you guys what i got um today while i was at um daisy james i got this cute little um like mug thing and i thought it would be kind of nice for um putting like hot apple cider in it it's like pretty big and it's just like one of those um things that'll keep your drink either hot or cold and then i also got this cute mug which i'm so excited i ended up picking this up i almost didn't get it because it was a little pricey but i feel like it's so unique i'll definitely use it a lot it's this cute mug right here like isn't this so unique and cute and it's like a glass um it has a little sun on the inside i just thought it would be a nice happy way to start the day and it's um made out of clay so yeah, let's um, try on these dresses and figure out which one I'm gonna wear. This is the first dress, and this is the dress that I actually bought in Vegas, um, or bought and brought to Vegas and left in Vegas. So um, I love this one. It really just like makes you feel so good in it. And I'm not wearing a bra or anything. You guys know I wear 3060, which is like so rare, rare to not wear a bra or not have to, but it just like cinches you in goes all the way down and it's really comfy and like stretchy i'm just wearing these teeny tiny heels i'll probably change those but i'm trying to decide if i want to wear this or one of the other ones um so let's try that on too this is the next dress and i know i'm not wearing this one because it quite literally will not zip up on my body it um is so tight around my hips and not really around my waist like there's definitely room here um but it's just like so tight. I do think that I put this on maybe sideways because I'm zipping it up and the zipper is like kind of curving around the side and there's like lines here that are just like, like this line I think is supposed to go straight down here. Either way, it does not work. It is super tight, um, but I do really like the pattern of it. I think it's a really um, pretty pattern on, which just quite literally doesn't fit so we're not gonna wear this one but i still think it's really cute i love this dress it's not only zip but it will zip i just it's literally suctions you in there um i really like this color and it makes you just feel really confident i feel like i love the crisscross neck um it's really cute so this one's also a contender i really like how long it is um it's still really good in it so this one might be the one
last night was so fun. I am so tired. I've been doing this thing after I like go out and drink or whatever, where I try to just like down so much water and it's actually helped me a lot. Um, just to, like feel better. And if you guys didn't watch my, one of my last videos about like being on my period and like how that's been like such a journey to figure out what works for me to make my periods better. Um, I'll link it below if you guys want to watch it, but you guys gave so many good tips and I think I have like, I don't know, figured out the key or well, not the key, but they've definitely been better. So my last period was terrible. So many of you guys were like, maybe you guys have, maybe you have fibroids or like, there's definitely some like underlying health issue. And I feel like I always want to try to see if I can fix the issue myself before I like go get help for it because I personally this is like just my personal opinion but I feel like no one knows my body better than me no one knows how I feel better than me and I know that something's off but I know that there's also things in my life that I don't do that I could do to like better my own health so I took a lot of you guys' advice and so many of you guys said that I needed to get like a either a multivitamin or get some kind of like consistency with vitamins into my body and like maybe I was like low on iron or like whatever so you guys know I've been um, drinking AG1 from Athletic Greens for a while and I actually on my last period I was out of it and so I bought another um, like uh, bag of it and it has done wonders for me and I think that that's part of why my period this time is better also, I made sure to drink at least, like at least um, a gallon of water a day, like no ifs, ands, or buts. And another thing that I've been doing is um, I did like some light yoga because a lot of you guys said that I need to move my body and I actually had stopped moving my body during my periods because I thought that, that would make it better. But a lot of you guys said I should stop doing heavy workouts but still keep moving my body because that helps. So I did that and this period has been so much better. It's day three. So I mean, I can't say what it'll be like by the end of it, but I, it's just pretty much my body feels like it's back to normal. Um, last night I was really nervous when we went to the wedding. I am making a bet by the way. I was nervous when we went to the wedding because I was like, what if I drink? Like, what if I eat the wrong thing? Like, what if I'm like, through my clothes or just like I don't know like what if it's just a really bad experience like the last time so I made sure to take like vitamins before I left I made sure to drink a gallon of water before I left and then when I came home I also drank water um I haven't had hardly any caffeine I had a matcha the other day but that's it I haven't had like coffee I haven't been eating meat I've been eating lots of greens um I've been eating nuts uh, just really like healthy food and I can't tell you like I have not had to use a heating pad like literally I've not used a heating pad at all this period I have had to take ibuprofen because like my back was hurting but I mean not to the point where I'm like doubled over in pain so it's just been so nice um, so today I'm going to shower and then we're gonna go to the apple barn to pick up a couple um, things because I want to make some soup tonight and, or this afternoon I want to make some soup and then um, I want to have like a little picnic downtown and maybe get some ice cream and just have like a nice fall day. Right now it is, I think this morning it was 57 degrees and now it's 61. So it's 61 right now, but it's supposed to get to I think like 70 something by the end of the day. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Can you see that? There we go. Um, yeah, it's supposed to get to 74 by the end of the day. So the thing about the Midwest is like the weather is never the same. Like you will wake up and it's like 50 degrees and then by the end of the day, it's like 75. So uh, I just hope it stays like this for a while. I don't want it to get like super cold, super fast. Like I like cold weather, but I do not like it when it's like it's freezing cold so fast. So, hey, let's um, get ready for the day and go to the apple bar. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling. Behind 
beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know what I have in this little picnic basket. I got from uh, the Apple Barn, I got this right here. And this is actually a new soup I've never tried before. I usually get the uh, chicken and dumpling one and I got the creamy potato soup. I thought this would be nice if I put um, like some cheese and then I added like some broccoli and to make it like a creamy broccoli potato soup. All you have to do is add water and simmer. It says just add bacon, but like you don't have to add bacon if you don't want to. So I got two of those. I'll let you guys know if those are good or not and I will link that so you guys can pick it up too. I also got um, this uh, delicious and sweet apple barn apple cider. It says keep refrigerated so maybe I should put it back in the car. Um, I got that for tonight so that um, whenever I hang with friends, I'm actually going to a little bonfire whenever I hang out with um, the girls, uh, I can have like something to contribute to drink. I don't know if I feel like drinking tonight just because I drank so much last night and I don't want to be like super tired for um, work tomorrow because today's Sunday. So I'm going to play it by ear but I also feel like when I'm in social situations I do have a hard time being like no I don't want to drink I just want to like have like juice or whatever but we're driving like 20 minutes out of town so I feel like that's what's gonna help me not drink anything um, or maybe have like a glass of wine and just like one glass or something because we'll be there for like a few hours um, and then maybe have like Brady come pick me up or something because it's not like super far but it's far enough where um, I probably wouldn't be able to uber back and then I also picked up some kettle corn, which I really love kettle corn. Um, I'm not a huge like popcorn person, but I really am into kettle corn these days. So yeah, that's what I uh, picked up. And I'm gonna read my book, Love In Other Words. This book has been just like, I don't know, so nice to read and so like relaxing. This is my first book from Christina Lauren and I really like um, this book. And so now I kind of want to read more, which is good because I actually own more of her books. I own The Unhoneymooners and then I own um, one more book of hers. So I hope her other writing and her other books is just as good, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna sit here and like read for a little bit. It's such a nice view. Let me show you guys. This is the view. I'm actually at Beach Park and over on this side people park their um, boats and stuff to go out on the water. So it's like a pretty busy area, but this side is kind of nice. It's on a hill. So you kind of like overlook the water, which is nice. I'm also wearing these boots. Um, I will link these. These are from Francesca's and I have a code Shaughnessy10 you guys can use for 10% off. I think the code's still working. Some of you guys are saying it wasn't. Um, um, so I'll try to get it working if it's not and if it is then like, you know, disregard what I'm just saying now. Also, this shirt right here that I'm wearing is from Boyd. It's one of my favorites and it actually just came back in stock. Um, I usually wear it with like sports shorts or something. It's just really soft um, and comfortable and it's not like fuzzy or anything. So it just really feels um, nice to wear on sunny days and I We'll typically wear like a zip up or something over top of it, but sometimes I'll wear it like this just with some um, little like biker shorts underneath. It's really comfortable. such good fall pieces i'm wearing this scarf it's also from um what was it 
make American Eagle last season. And I probably won't wear it like this until we actually get to where we're going because it is literally 70 degrees right now, but the temperature is supposed to drop. So while we're at the bonfire, I think it'll get colder. Um, but yeah, I'm also wearing these jogger shorts that I think are from Pretty Little Thing. And I'll probably just put this into my bag so I'm not like so, so hot. I'm also wearing a pair of sweatpants just in case I get even more cold because I just don't want to be like cold. The thing about the Midwest is like you literally have no idea what the temperature is going to be. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to like dress accordingly. Not sure what shoes I'm going to wear, but I'll show you guys um, before I head out. But this is the... Bit. We're heading to the bonfire now. I barely got time to show you my outfit because I was in such a rush. I uh, was telling Taylor that we should like leave at 520 or whatever. I, said. I, can't, I think like I said 520. Yeah, 515. And then I was like, oh, well, can we actually do it five minutes later because I'm like running behind and I wasn't even ready to be there. At, like 545. I don't know. I told myself I wanted to like make it a priority to be better about being on time when I turn 30 and I still <laughs> am like habitually late all the time. I don't know how people do it. Be easy to be on time, but we're gonna go um, to this bonfire. It's our first one of the season. I'm excited. I've been, I haven't been to bonfire, I don't think since, maybe since, I feel like I probably have been to one in college, but I just can't remember, but I used oh, to go, really? all the, yeah, I used to go all the time in high school, but in college, they just, you know, you are in college, so like, you won't really have bonfires right, at their apartment, so I haven't been to one in years. Oh, it's so exciting. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm so excited. Uh, can't wait. I got uh, apple cider back there, and I got some kettle corn. Mm -hmm. That should be good. We're going to go, we're probably going to stay till like 8.30. Is that cool with you? Yeah, that's good. Fun. It's perfect. Just because I don't want to be out like super late because I'm like gonna get up in the morning, you know, gotta work, and I don't want to be tired. Did you end up bringing wine around? I did. You did. Yeah. Okay. Because part of me was like, I don't know if I want to drink. I think I'm gonna have a glass. You think? I think so. I think I'm gonna try not to, but oh, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> I might change my mind. I might get there and be like nervous or something. Right. Like, that's why I brought it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like. That's gonna be the kicker. If it's like people we don't know, I'll probably like drink a little have bit. Have a little glass. I might just have one yeah. glass. That would be good. Yeah. Then I brought the apple cider. Man, I should have brought some yeah. spike it too. So. <laughs> and I have some. That's I know. No <laughs> drinking. Like I'm not drinking. Perhaps liquor. Actually, let's perhaps spike the cider. <laughs> I love uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> you started thinking about people. I know. Don't know, me, I know. That's the thing. Is like I just get so nervous about meeting new people. Mm -hmm. But then, like, I, th I think it's, like, thinking about it, and then once we're there, it's like, okay, this is okay. I, uh, at the wedding, we, well, I, obviously, you guys saw the wedding last night, um, but I went to a wedding, and I'll tell you who these people are after I, like, get done, but I was so awkward in a conversation with, like, a couple that was there. Right. Because I know them, but I don't know them that well, and so, like, we happened to be in line to get our drink at the cocktail hour, and the line was, like, super long, and so I'm, like, waiting and waiting in line, and, like, you kind of run out of conversation oh, with people you sure. don't know that well. So then I'm like stumbling over my words and I'm like, God, I sound like I'm drunk. And I literally all day today, I thought about that conversation. And See, I'm like, they probably won't remember. I but feel like it probably wasn't even as bad as you think. Like, Maybe. that's probably a normal conversation with me and anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just, I kept cringing about it because I just, ugh. I'll have to tell you who it was afterward. But they were perfectly normal. They were talking like a normal person. I was just right. like, so, uh, so they might think that they were awkward too. Like I, know, I feel like everyone always worries about themselves in those situations. That's true, and they probably didn't even think about it because I ended up seeing them later that night, and we, I was fine. But I think right. it's because by that time we're like dancing, so right, it's like easier right, right. to, you know, it's like oh yeah, like yeah. love your dress or you know your dance move or whatever. You know, it's right. not dance move. You know what I mean? Dance moves. Moves. <laughs> Sick moves, bro. <laughs> no, but like it just was easier because we were like doing the same thing. Right, but of course. In yeah. line, it was just like so. No, like you're nice for even talking because I probably would act like I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they stopped me. Oh, That's shit. the thing. So I was like, yeah. There's <sighs> no getting out of that one. Yeah. I was like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> But anyway, I got through it. So hopefully I'm not as cringy or awkward tonight. I just get in these like moods where sometimes I'm like social batteries is all away. Yes, me. it's empty or like my brain is just like empty. Yes. I'm like I don't even know what to say. Especially like my time in the month, I'm like yes. brain fog, completely. Yes. Can't even think. Yes, hundred percent. 
going on that. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. It's we'll valid. see you guys there. Um, I think the Lindsay Lane of Clarissa and Jess's uh, art studio, I think they're gonna show some of their art, so I'll show you guys that, and then I'll link their um, like Instagram and their like website and stuff because they have incredible artwork and it's like all made by them. Um, I love like supporting not only black business owners, but like business owners who are like young, who are women. I mean, it's just like everything that I feel like you need when you look for art. Um, Cause I mean, you can go to Home Goods, Goods and get art, but like it doesn't have the same feel or the same heart behind it. So and their pieces are really nice. I think you guys have seen the piece that they made for my birthday. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna get off um, the like vlogging situation because I feel like I'm gonna miss my exit. But we'll see you guys when we get there. If you're by my side, if you're in meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along, I'll be alright. Promise we don't need no break lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. Yeah, <laughs> licking the hand to clean your palate. <laughs> this is bomb fuse one. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Watch them taste the exact same. I think that one's spicier. Mm, okay, and this one's sweeter. Yeah. Bomb keys is sweeter and um, apple corn spicier. Okay. You know what? Let me just. Yeah, no matter if I do it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but tonight was literally a movie. Like it literally felt like I was in a movie. Um, I just felt so grateful to get to meet like all the new girls that I hadn't met. And it was really nice. When we first got there, we like took a couple pictures with the sunset and um, the girl, she, they took pictures of their artwork um, cause they had been meaning to do that and like a lot of their art. It's already sold, um, so they wanted to take pictures before they like mailed it off. And um, after that, we went down to this little like bonfire area, which was so cute. And we just like ate snacks, we talked. And I love talking to people where, like I think I heard from Taylor one time or maybe TikTok or something, where there's like two types of people. There's people who wanna talk about like people, places, and things, and there's people who wanna talk about feelings, thoughts, and emotions, and I feel like I'm in that second like feeling, thoughts, and emotions type person. Like if I get together with friends, I wanna talk about like growth or like society and like how it's like, you know, made us better people or like worse people or like how we're changing. Like those are the things that I really enjoy talking about. Um, and I feel like this group was the exact same way. So we were just like, just like so someone would ask a question, everyone would answer it, and then someone else would ask another question. And we were just like kind of ping ponging random questions off each other. Like one question someone said was, what's one like artist that is like an artist that you shouldn't love, but you do? Mine is Chris Brown, like I love his music. And I think he's incredibly talented, but I think he also is like pretty problematic too. Um, and we were just talking about like how we have to, like we can recognize art as art and separate art from 
people, but also we have to recognize that the, those people, they also make mistakes and we shouldn't like align with that either. So we just got into like a lot of deep chats, which was cool. It's like my favorite way to end the weekend. And it was the first bonfire of autumn, which was really exciting. And what else did we do? Um, then we did a little taste test because I brought cider from the apple barn and then someone else brought cider from Bomb Keys, uh patch and pumpkin patch. And so they both tasted different. The Bomb Key one tasted more sweet and then the um, apple barn cider tasted a little bit more tart. And then after that, we did some stargazing and we saw the Little Dipper and it was like so pretty. Uh, I haven't seen stars like that in a while. And it's not even because I can't see them. Like I could literally go outside in my backyard and see it every single night. But I just don't think I take the time to like sit and relax and just literally like stargaze. So it was really nice to do that and it just gave me a bigger appreciation for the Midwest but also made me realize that I need to take advantage of like nature and just like the beauty around me, whether it's like fall or spring, summer, winter, whatever. Like I just need to make sure to make that a priority. So I'm going to try to make just like being in nature more of a priority, not even just like picnics and like reading and stuff outside, but just like going on hikes. Um, there's like a little trail that's not too far from us, but we just like, don't really go on it so that's kind of uh, what I want to start doing eventually but it is late I gotta work tomorrow it's Sunday night and it's 12 25 it's almost 12 30 I never stay up this late during the like week and I almost didn't go to this like bonfire get together but I'm so glad I did and I almost didn't go because I don't stay out or do stuff like out on Sundays but I'm really glad I did because I ended up like meeting new friends um, and I also ended up seeing a side of like this area that I don't normally see. Um, we went to their friend's um, like property and they have like tons of grass and it's like by a little bit of like water and it's just like in a beautiful area. So it was nice to see that and relax there. <sighs> But I need to go to bed because I'm yawning so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it because that will show YouTube that you guys like this video and more people can see it. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.